Good afternoon from uh, London. It's a cold and snowy afternoon here. In fact, there's still a little bit of snow falling. And hello from me, Dr. Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Juche Idea, chairman of UK KFA and official delegate of the KFA for the UK and president of the Association for the Study of Songham Politics. Today, the 8th of February, is the 73rd anniversary of the foundation of the Korean People's Army as the regular revolutionary armed force of People's Korea, of Juche Korea. And it was today, 73 years ago, on the 8th of February 1948, that the great leader, President Kim Il-sung, transformed the guerrilla-based Korean People's Revolutionary Army, which had uh, fought the Japanese imperialists for Korea's independence, into a standing regular revolutionary armed force, the Korean People's Army. The Korean People's Army, under the command of Great Generalissimo Kim Il-sung, defeated the US imperialists in the Fatherland Liberation War from 1950 to 1953. Under the leadership and command of uh, Great Generalissimo's uh, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, and later Marshal Kim Jong-un, uh, the KPA defended the uh, independence and sovereignty of the DPRK uh, in incidents like the uh, uh, Pueblo incident of 1968 when the US imperialists infiltrated a armed spy pirate ship into the territorial waters of the DPRK. The EC-121 spy plane incident of 1969, the Pam and incident of 1976, and the uh, various uh, attempts by the US to put pressure on the DPRK, uh, you know, from really from the 1990s uh, to the more recent period uh, when uh, the US imperialists staged very provocative exercises against. Uh, people's career and threatened uh, the DPRK. But thanks to the uh, Korean People's Army, uh, socialism and independence were de uh, defended. And it's very important to remember that the uh, DPRK stands on the front line of uh, world socialism against world imperialism and US imperialism. The KPA uh, is an army that is totally different from um, armies in capitalist and imperialist countries. It is an army of the working class, an army of the people, an army of the revolution. It is based on uh, unity between officers and men and also army people unity. And the KPA has taken part in many construction projects in the DPRK, such as recently the re reconstruction of flood damaged areas in uh, People's Korea. So it is very much a People's Army. So I pay high tribute to the Korean People's Army, which is standing guard over the socialist achievements of People's Korea and is defending world socialism and world peace. Long live the Korean People's Army, long live Juche, long live Songam, long live respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. Um, and I'd just like to quickly uh, congratulate uh, the head of Staffordshire KFA and the head of the Stoke and Trent branch of the Juche Idea uh, study, uh, British Group for the Study of the Juche Idea, and also the uh, Secretary General of the British Group for the Study of the Duke Chadir on his birthday. Thank you uh, for listening uh, to this uh, video. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, please stay safe and stay warm. Goodbye.